standard 9 math 2 second topic parallel lines now we will see practice is 2.2 first example in figure 2.18 y equal to 108 and x equal to 71 are the lines m and n parallel justify now see x is given 71 degree and y given 108 degree these two angles are exterior angle so x plus y equal to 180 linear up in interior angle x is 71 and y is 108 equal to 180 degree 9 71 plus 108 1 came 179 equal to 180. They are not equal. This measurement is also 180 degree. Therefore, line M and N, line M and N are not parallel lines because their measurement not came. 180 degree. Now, second example. Second example. L, M, N, this angle A, this angle B, given A congruent to B, B. Hmm? And line N is transversal. Transversal. What do I have to prove? Line L parallel to line M. M. Now prove. Now see, line N is a transversal. Is transversal. Angle A congruent to angle B. Congruent to angle B given. We will give this angle X name this angle Y. Now see angle A congruent to angle X. Opposite angles. Here equation 1, this equation 2. Angle B congruent to angle Y. Opposite angles. Equation 3. Now see, in equation 1, angle A and B, A and B are congruent. So from equation 2 and 3, angle X and angle Y are also congruent. From equation 2 and 3, angle X and Y are also congruent. Angle X congruent to angle Y. These two angles are congruent and this is a transversal, so they are alternate angle. Alternate 
angle. So they are alternate angle. So therefore, line L parallel to line M. Therefore, line L parallel to line M. Yeah, proof. Now we will see third example. What they are given? Angle A congruent to angle B. Given. Angle X congruent to angle Y. What where to prove? Line L and M are congruent. Line L parallel to line and where to prove now prove angle a congruent to angle b given these two line are congruent by corresponding angle therefore line l and m are also congruent L parallel to line L equation 1 angle X and angle Y are also congruent these two angles are congruent by alternate angle therefore line Y and Y are also parallel To line, yeah, equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, line M parallel to L, line M parallel to L, M is common, therefore line L is parallel to line L. From equation 